if the Second Amendment is an individual right that is granted to all Americans by our Creator, then why does the Bill of Rights say that it is for the security of a free state? A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. What's up guys? Ryan here with Cary University. We are diving deep into exactly what the Second Amendment means as we review the U.S. Supreme Court's Heller v. D.C. decision. I'm going to be reading from my latest book, Florida Concealed Carry Law, the different quotes specifically from the U.S. Supreme Court. Part of the argument that gun grabbers love to use is that the Second Amendment protects a person's right who is part of the militia, in their mind, the National Guard, to defend the state. So I live in the state of Florida. In their opinion, that would be the state of Florida. However, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, this is not what this term means. Security of a free state, the phrase security of a free state, meant security of a free politely, not security of each of the several states. U.S. Supreme Court, Heller versus D.C. Now, Joseph Story, who is a retired Supreme Court justice, wrote in his treatise on the Constitution that the word state is used in various senses. And in its most enlarged sense, the term state means all of the people that belong to a particular community or society. It is true that the term state elsewhere in the Constitution refers to individual states. But the phrase security of a free state and close variations seem to have been terms of art in 18th century political discourse, meaning a free country, or free politely. U.S. Supreme Court, Heller versus D.C., page 24. Now, vocabulary.com defines the word politely as a political group of any size or shape. It can also be a government, a state, a country, or even a social group. The two that make the most sense in my mind would be a free country or a free society. And Joseph Story would agree with that. Again, this is just my opinion, but if this is 100% accurate, then the Second Amendment could more clearly read a well-trained group of men being necessary to the security of a free society. The right of the people to keep and bear firearms shall not be infringed. When we look at our society today, we look at the riots, the violence, the chaos. We look at innocent people getting beaten to death and murdered simply trying to stop looters from destroying their business. We also see the police too busy with all the other things happening that they cannot defend the innocent people. These are the moments that our founding fathers were warning us about hundreds of years ago. These are the moments where every individual has to have the ability to protect themselves and their free society. In the next video, we're going to answer another super common question, which is what exactly does it mean to keep and bear arms? What do those words really mean? So stay tuned. We're going to talk about it next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Give a good big thumbs up. Share the video. I need your help to grow this channel. And until next time, keep training and stay safe.